Okay, and there is really this EGR valve, and this is really electric, um, this magnetic valve, and it works with this car computer and computer sends data, and then this electromagnetic piston moves up and down, and it opens and closes this text house gas movement. And this EGR valve really sends this exhaust gases from exhaust manifold to back in intake manifold. It like rotates these bad exhaust gases. And then when we have issue in that area, firstly we have to take this connector out and this can be tight in that area I press and in same time I move this my my connector in up way another fingers and then this connector opens this can be tight and now this is free I installed it in here this connector and next part is that I need good quality Phillips head screwdriver and there is one and two screws what I need to open in that way and these are really specific screws and do not drop or lost these and if you lost that screw you can go to visit in the nearest Toyota dealership center and they can order new screws. These screws cost about uh, 4 US dollar per piece. And then this below area screw is very bad position and it can drop to our engine holes and that's work in this area really carefully and keep all time it is good that we have these pliers, pliers that I can take contact to this my screw. I take a little bit bigger view, but we can see that there is this screw. And now I install my tool in here, and I take grip in this screw because it is now I now now. Now I take contact and carefully there is the screw and do not drop that in ground because this is specific screw and now this our EGR valve is free and we can look some another direction and in that view we can see really nice, nicely this piston and now when we carefully take that out, note, we have carefully moved that and there is this there is small bearing and this is this piston what moves by this electricity in here. This is the point. It closed down this valve in that way. And check that your valve is moving easily. And if it is not, then you have to purchase new part. And there are those uh, codes. It is Toyota code and product number is 2562 and 37140. And this is made some agal, interesting mark. But this is really EGR valve. And then when we install this whole package back. There are another bolts if we need to replace this whole another parts, but this is like cover. And when we install that cover back, it goes only in one way smoothly in down. Look, and there is this spring, and that's we have to install this very carefully. And this is careful job. And now I install firstly this up areas screws 
And note that this must be in same plane. Now it goes in there and I compress this down. And now I install this first screw in here. And carefully I little bit rotate that so long that it takes small contact in this these parts are like together in that way and then I little bit loosen that but this part moves and then I install this second screw and note these big pliers are cool because this position is little bit bad in here and if we drop this our screw then we have big issue because this screw is really specific Okay, and then I have this good quality screwdriver and I have to press this both screws, screws well and use high quality Phillips head screwdriver. Good quality tools. And now, now they are fine, excellent. And next part is this connector installation. Okay, and this connector installation happens so that I install that there is this clamp in up area and then we have to hear this sound, click sound. Now, now it's fine, excellent. And now this job is ready. And thank you my friend for watching the video.